Hey Blender users, this video I'm going to show you how to do a shadow only plane where the plane shows you just a shadow and the plane does not show up in your final render. This is going to be working for cycles. It's uh, I'm using 2.71, the latest blur Blender version as of right now. And what I mean by that is, for example, in this photo, imagine if this photo was real, it might be, I don't know, but the shadow right here, you see the shadow. Uh, in Blender, I mean, it's kind of difficult to render just a shadow on a plane. So if this sphere was one object, creating a shadow on a plane, if you don't want the plane to render because you have a real composite or uh, another image you want to composite it over, you want just a shadow to appear. So the way I found out how to do this is, imagine you have this box, you have a plane, and now I'm just going to set this kind of intersect so the shadow shows better. What I'm going to do is make a very simple setup. Let's say this is a sun lamp. Um, yeah, that's good. So, bam, you got that. Now, if we hit render right now, as you can see, simple setup, okay? So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put on transparency and I'm going to put GPU make it faster so now you see back here it is transparent so we want to get rid of this plane and leave just a shadow alright so what you have to do is if you're not familiar with layers um, I'm not going to be explaining that so if you don't know you have to go to another tutorial for now and learn how these layers down here work so plane move it to layer 2 leave this on layer 1 uh, shift click add these back in we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to the renders tab. Make two render layers. We're gonna call this one plane. One up here. We're gonna call it box. So we want the plane to render just a plane. The box to render just a box. Now on the plane, we want to turn on the shadow pass. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to use the information from the second layer, which only the plane is on. So just this layer, the uh, the shadow information from that layer. All right. So uh, now we got to go to the compositing. Use nodes right here. Currently, it's only going to render the box layer. So add a new input render layer and make that into the plane. So now. We have to combine these two. If we combine it going to uh, color alpha over, let's say we combine these two like that. And if we hit uh, F12, for example, now you see we, we're getting the same result. That's because we don't want to use the whole image of the second layer. We're wanting to use the shadow information mainly. So what we need to do is go to color and mix. We're going to do subtract here. What we need to do is, well, first of all, before I do that, let me cancel. Let me show you something. So if we go to let's enable the backdrop and output viewer, if you just put the shadow information here, that should show you what the shadow information is. All it is is a black and white representation of shadow. So, and then back here, you see the black area on top. This is supposed to be the uh, the alpha in the background the transparent background but unfortunately it's not built into the shadow information so all this is going to give you is a black and white representation of where the shadow should lie including the alpha in the back which is kind of weird but so it's, the way you got to fix this is do the uh, color mix it makes the shadow and the uh, alpha, well, we want to do subtract, sorry. Subtract, and then we're going to add another node, which is set alpha. Like so. Now, we should be able to put that in there, this in here. I probably just did that a little backwards. Maybe it was like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm really tired. Okay, so alpha goes in there, shadow goes in there. So what you're doing is you're subtracting 
the alpha information from the shadow information so it's not baked in there and then we're setting the black stuff around there or whatever i'm not sure exactly how it works but I'm kind of making this mainly for myself i guess so remember so you set alpha and that'll remove such and such if we did not set alpha this is what we would get if we did oops that's what we would get something went wrong gotta set this black Oh man, there we go. What am I doing? I'm really tired right now. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all you gotta do. Let's go to, just to give it a background so you can see how it works. Let's input just an RGB value. And that can go into viewer and composite. And I always seem to do that backwards. So there you go. As you can see, the cube is showing up. Now, if you say, oh, well, the shadow's too strong, you could play with lighting. And there's one other way I found, which is do another alpha over here. Uh, take the factor down or up. And the shadow is getting, uh, you know, stronger or weaker by doing that. So.